Pisces. What's good? Thank you so much for watching Mama Playa Tarot. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Um, did I say Venus? I think I did. I don't know. I am a Pisces Mercury myself, and I attribute that placement to a lot of my psychic gifts, so thank you for that. And I've got an Irish twin brother who is a Pisces. So, all right, we're only 11 months apart, and it's, he's an awesome dude. So, I want to see what's coming in in love from my Pisces collective. Um, and if I vibe with you as a reader, please check the description box below. Uh, you will find a link to everybody in my wellness center where we can link up on Zoom. Or you can find uh, the, just the link to uh, Wissio. They're running a cool Halloween promotion too right now. So you may want to try that out. Um, and what else is there? Oh, there's the Green Witch, of course. So go check out the Green Witch and uh, everything else. All right, my loves, let's just get right into it. Dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering this sacred space, so mo it be. All right, my beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Ooh, be open to healing information. You may, but sometimes I get this for other healers too. So you may be a Pisces who's another healer, but also be open to healing information. Um, I'm getting Reiki really strongly with this exchange energy as well. Uh, you may want to get a Reiki treatment or you may want to get attuned like I recently have. It's one, it was one of the smartest things I've ever done. Uh, I love that I got Reiki attuned and um, you might want to do it as well. Um, I think it's open to, you know, a lot of people now. And I think it's the the art of healing myself that I love so much, uh, more than even treating other people. I don't know if I'll ever treat other people for with Reiki, but I know I'll treat myself for the rest of my life at the very least. So it's pretty cool. But it, this says to exchange energy with other people. So getting yourself out there is a really important thing for you, Pisces. I think there was a one reading where it was like, get your get your talents. Everybody wants to see what you're doing. Get it out there, get it out there. And I think I'm getting very similar energy to that as well. Take charge and be brave and honest. Be brave and honest with yourself about what you really want. And be brave and honest with others as well, Pisces. Ain't no trash talking around here. And ain't no half stepping either, all right? So, um, you know, take charge with authority. Own your power, Pisces. And whether it be just individually or within this connection, uh, oh, the shaman and, and this guy's here and this came out for cancer as well. So you might have some cancer placements or you might be dealing with the cancer. Um, but just know that if you are more open to healing information, you can reach that shaman status. Um, and you may already be halfway there or you may already be there. Uh, you can trust the unknown. Trust the messages that you're getting from the universe um, because it's, it's the real deal, Pisces. You're the real deal. Um, you know, where I have a Pisces in, Mer in my um, Mercury, I attribute a lot of my psychic gifts to that placement. And so I, you know, I want you guys to really own your own psychic gifts. Whew. Your person is a, a warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. Um, this person, you know, isn't isn't afraid to get themselves out there. And I think you might want to like, you know, take some notes from them. Um, this person, you know, stands real tall, moving in a new direction. Yeah. Ooh. Um, definitely could be dealing with a cancer, um, because that card came out for cancer as well. But this person, ooh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Your person definitely has some strong psychic gifts of their own big time. Uh, and they may be going through some big changes. This is very similar to the cancer reading. Um, where, you know, this person, what I'm getting really strongly though, Pisces for you, Ooh, be graceful in movement. I'm getting this person maybe in an, in another relationship and they, wow. All right. This person may be leaving their current relationship for you, Pisces. Um, and it's interesting. I think they don't want to hurt anybody, but they got to be real with themselves that they're not happy with where they're at. So I don't know, Pisces, you let me know. Damn. 
Shift your perception. Both of you got that with the air guardian. You could be dealing with an air sign. Um, wow, heavy energy. Um, but if if this is what's in this this person's best interest, then it's what's in their best interest. And, and it does take out some bravery to just be honest with everybody about how how they feel instead of staying in a relationship that doesn't work for them anymore. Knight of Coins, go slow, okay? Go slowly. Don't make any assumptions, you know? Uh, this Knight of Pentacles has been showing up in a lot of readings. Uh, he shows up in a lot of my re personal readings as well. And it's it's just knowing that Mercury's in retrograde, Mars is still retrograding. Um, ooh, Three of Swords. You've been hurt in the past. And I think that um, you may have had other people tell you that they were going to leave their relationship they're in and then never do it. And that's why you may not trust this person. So be careful, Pisces. Um, Queen of Swords, yeah. And you may have had to tell this person already to beat it because they were in a relationship. Um, and I think that bummed you out. You know, it was kind of like, it must have felt like, like, you know, wrong person. I mean, sorry, right person, wrong time, you know, but that doesn't make it the wrong person, right? Oh, this card flipped upside down. Ooh, but this is a level of not holding back how you really feel, though. Yeah, so Pisces, you may be a little concerned or cons or confused. You just want to heal the pain from the past. You want to get over it. But I think you're having a hard time figuring out how to do that. Um, it does look like, you know, with this four of coins reversed, that um, you may not have held back. And you let it all out. And you let this person know how you were feeling, which was pretty awful. But what I want you to see is that you still got these two cups here. Okay? There are three cups in the water, but the two cups are still standing there. So don't cry over that. Don't let that pull you in. Focus on what you really want here, Pisces. Um, you've got the capability to heal here, big time. And a lot of it is asking for help. So don't don't be afraid to ask for help, okay, when you need it. Um, because there are people out there that want to help you. What is this about, though? I feel like a lot of my Cancer Collective is feeling some really deep sadness. And I feel really bad with the Three of Swords and this Five of Cups here. I'd hate to see that. Queen of Cups. Yeah, your person is really emotionally pretty stable. Um, not the most stable, because that would be the king. But the queen is definitely very, very loving, very caring. Like I said, I keep getting the vibe that they don't want to hurt anybody. Uh, it's That's not in their nature. But things change for people, too. And feelings change. Yeah, Nine of Cups. I think when they met you, Pisces, they got real happy. And um, they're working on their wish fulfillment. And, and I don't want you being so depressed over the past or, or you know, especially because this person seems to be, what is going on? Eight of Swords. Yeah. Okay, with this Nine of Cups, they may have felt trapped by, this could definitely be a Cancer um, with this Queen of Cups here. The Sign of Cups could. Uh, yeah, all right. So what I'm getting really strongly, sorry, I was getting a little thrown off, Pisces. Um, you may have met this person at a party or in a group setting of some kind. And um, now this person feels like kind of trapped, uh, possibly by the other relationship or was trapped by the other relationship. And that's what really hurt you. They did, Or it could have been that this person at first, wouldn't leave their current relationship for you. Um, but I was getting with these oracles that they are now. So that's interesting. Page of Cups. Yeah, they are starting to break out. Starting to, though. King of Swords. Yep, there it is. King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. You two are a power couple, Pisces. 
and they are going to be cutting out. They may have children with this other relationship. Or, um, you know, they may be, there may, I'm not seeing any pentacles, but there is a whole lot of cups over here. Um, they are cutting out their other relationship in order to come towards you. It's just, it's, it seems like it's probably taken a while and that's really starting to bother you. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, they feel like, um, this is, this is what's destined. This is what they're supposed to do. Like it's, you know, they, they don't want to hurt anybody, but yeah, it's almost like giving to the relationship that they're currently in has caused nothing but burdensome. And they've given a lot to the person that they're currently with. And that has been, that has actually turned out to be kind of a nightmare. I'm getting very strongly and I'm getting that um, extremely strongly as well that they are kind of justified in leaving this other relationship. So, you know, I think that this relationship that they're in currently or are just leaving for you, for you basically, Pisces, but you don't know it yet, is that um, it was gonna it was gonna end anyway. Whether you came into the picture or not, this relationship was doomed. And so I don't want you feeling guilty or weird about that because these people were not happy as it was. Okay, Pisces? Ace of Coins. I think there's going to be a new commitment coming in. And um, I just, I'm a little shocked by this message. To be honest with you, it's pretty hardcore, but it is what it is. I mean, um, I tell people to leave relationships all the time because they're not good for them. And that's probably the advice I would give this person about their current relationship, whether they knew you or not, Pisces. So, yeah, the magician. You keep manifesting. Get out of this, this two of swords, five of cups, three of swords energy, and you get back on your feet, okay? Watch any manipulation. I, I, I don't want Pisces trying to manipulate any situations or anything like that. Um, four of pentacles, yeah. You, okay. Conserve your power. Conserve your energy. Save some money if you have to. But manifest yourself out of these really ugly feelings. Because I do think you, yeah, you're heading towards success. Wish fulfillment and success for Pisces. With this person who may have really hurt you, but it does look like you had to cut them out because they weren't leaving the relationship they were in and it felt like the right thing to do. But, and it was the right thing to do. It's what really pushed them, to be honest with you. Pisces, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, because you're not going to be, you're not a side chick. You're a wife. And it's, it's you know, refusing to be a side chick or a side dude is what brought, gave you your power back. And refusing to be this person's side piece. You know, um, it's good for you, Pisces. Because a Pisces isn't a side chick, you know. Uh, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you'd rather be single than be a side chick. So good for you. And you have some real gain coming in. So please focus on career right now and money manifestation. I think that's what's best for you, Pisces. Five of Wands, Strife. Yeah, this person in, in this, who they may be currently married or living with someone or in a, com a strong commitment with someone, uh, it's over. It's over. This person's ready to start over and and be done. I mean, there's, pro there's a lot of fighting. And if there are kids in the house, it's not good. Um, there's a lot of divorces happening right now. And I can see this, Princess of Pentacles. So Princess of Pentacles and the Princess of Cups. This person is willing to, I am seeing that this one person is willing to take some emotional and financial hits to get out of this relationship. They want to start over. Those pages are always start over energy for me. And I do think they're thinking of telling you, but they're conflicted on how to tell you as well. Ace of Pentacles, yeah, they're going to be offering up. Ooh, my nose is itchy. Yeah, this person, Pisces, 
is leaving their current relationship, going to start over and come and offer commitment to you now. King of Cups, because they love you. They have a lot of unconditional love for you. Uh, that King of Cups could be a Scorpio Pisces. So it's, yeah, um, Eight of Pentacles. Prudence, you hang back. You let them come to you, Pisces, because um, this is crazy. But I'm seeing a couple that is screaming at each other. Not you two. Whoever this person is with. Um, and I do think you set that boundary. Like, I am not going to be your side chick. Yeah, you sent the message. And you are not going to put up with being anybody's side piece. And, yeah, you defended yourself. Good for you. Yep. You wanted real commitment. And you wouldn't settle for anything but. And now they're going to give it to you. Wow, Pisces. Good for you. Standing your ground. You could definitely have some Taurus or some Leo. Strong fixed energy in the readings tonight. Um, I'm really proud of you for shedding light on what you deserve, which is full commitment and reunion and happiness with this Three of Cups. And you're not putting up with third-party energy. You want to be the only one. It's not three people. It's it's me and you, and that's it. You know, and, and good for you, Pisces. I'm really proud of you for that. Four of Swords, wow. This person may need some time, though, because I think they need a break from relationship in general just to heal and, and, and you know, so don't expect this tomorrow. Queen of Swords, yeah, they need to heal from you cutting them out and possibly... I'm getting that they're leaving this person though. They're, they've they got to heal from this new di this divorce first or whatever it is. Yep, there it is. The star, once once they get a handle on healing the past in this, in this broken up relationship, probably sorting out co-parenting if that's something that they have to do, which takes time. Getting a court date takes time. Healing a marriage that has broken up, that's one of the hardest decisions someone has to make. And so... You know, I invite you to have some patience too, you know, because it's not easy. They're going to be back to you. There's no doubt. This person's going to be like, I left. I left and um, that's wild, Pisces. But you had to stand your ground and you had to really, you know, have some strong boundaries first in order for this person to fully get it. I don't want you to feel like a homewrecker or nothing, but you weren't going to be. Yeah. The problem is this person is is going to lose money. This person is not going to have as much money as they had before. And that's the, that's the part that they're afraid of. And that's But they don't care. There's not enough money in the world to make this person stay in this relationship now. So good for you, Pisces, for standing your ground. I mean, you were willing to go meet somebody new and move on and let this person be in this relationship, it looks like. and But it hurt. You walked away from someone you loved. And it hurt, but you, it, in the meantime, you got your mojo back and this person's on their way back. Oppression. Yeah, you could definitely be w dealing with the Scorpio. Uh, your emotions got the better of you though. I am getting that, like this, this emotional, like this was a highly emotional, um, relationship and it's important that you hold back, that you don't that you don't flip out on this person, that you just keep it to yourself or don't keep it to yourself. Talk to somebody, but don't talk to this person about it. Let them come to you, Pisces. It's vitally important here. Judgment, because you will get your second chance with this person. Uh, they're totally leaving this relationship for you. Wow. Wild messages tonight, Pisces. I hope it makes you happy. It uh, sure looks like it. Empress. Judgment on the Empress. Um, I do think that you think their partner was kind of a dick. Um, and I'm not going to disagree with you. Because this Empress is, is, is not paying attention to her child, you know. And try not, though, try not to focus too much on this other person's partner. Because that's really unhealthy, you know. And I don't want you really obsessing about that. Or even, don't even let this person who this other person was with even enter your mind, you know? It's not, 
it's not your business. Yeah, this could be a twin flame relationship. You feel like this other person interfered with, with the perfect relationship. There was interference with your twin flame. That's what that looks like to me. Um, you know, there was interference with true love. Ah, Scorpio. That was the Scorpio reading. Oh shit! Check it out. Uh, but this is a this is a much more clear cut. Yeah, this person's out of there, and they're heading towards victory. They they really can see a future with you, Pisces. Um, and I do think that the relationship they were in completely was a complete failure. Um, they it's you know, and it's very hard though to deal with um, the failure of a marriage. No matter how bad it was, there is a stigma with divorce still. And just admitting that you've been divorced can be very, very hard. So it's, you know, I understand it. I don't like admitting. A lot of times I just hit single instead of divorced on my shit. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, failure with with their wife or their husband. Um, it's, it's, you know, when you go into a marriage, you think it's going to be forever. And that can be very hard to deal with. But... It's also very hard if, if for you, you like there's no way you want to be. And I don't think either one of you um, expected to meet each other. And I don't think either one of you expected to hit it off the way you did. So it's, you know, it's a very unexpected meeting. And yeah, victory and success, swiftness towards this person, though, they're, they're bossing up over it. And I think they know that the money is a temporary loss and it is for them the money is a temporary loss for them so that's why they're okay with getting out of it and they're not going to let money rule them uh you could totally be dealing with a um with the fire sign too with that kind of attitude all right so good for you you're heading towards commitment with a, someone who you thought it was over with too i think pisces and i think you know for some of you this is going to make you really happy um Two very clickbaity titles for the videos tonight, but they're the genuine messages, so it is what it is. Um, you know, I'm not going to tell everybody that the, you know, person that they want coming back. I, I can't, but that's what's definitely happening in uh, both the Cancer and the Pisces. Dreams. Yeah, you dream about this person still, even though you, I, I do think you walked away from them. Uh, you definitely still dream about them. That's interesting. Pisces, I almost called you ha cancer. Perth. Wow. Make sure you're meditating at home, paying attention to, um, to the messages that you are getting. Make sure that your home is your sanctuary right now and that it's a really comfortable place for you. Uh, and if you are feeling really confused and hurt, let it out, talk about it, write about it. Do what you got to do to get it out of your Pisces because feeling that pain all the time isn't helpful. Yeah, you can choose. You have a choice here of whether you're going to let this person back in or not. Um, while I do think that um, letting this person back in, it's confusing you. You're confused as to whether or not to take this person back. But I do think that eventually you are going to give this person shelter and let them back in because you felt such a special connection with them. And they did end up, they're not leaving the relationship for you, which is good. It looks like they're leaving the relationship because the relationship is toxic and it's not worth it anymore. And so um, it's pretty deep. Wow, history. Yeah, they they are looking at the his, their whole, I mean, I, I'm getting someone who's really looking back and all their choices and evaluating that and learning from it. And they realize that, you know, life is way too short to be putting up with toxic relationships and nightmare of relationships and living in freaking nightmare. And they're going to leave. Um, and they're going to start up a conversation with you. There's no doubt. They'll tell you. They'll come to you. So you seek shelter at home. You take care of you, Pisces. You feel the, the hurt that this has caused because this has caused some major pain for you, you know? And, um, wow, deep. I'm just, I'm shocked, though, like that the messages are this person's definitely leaving a relationship for you. 
There is no doubt here. So what is my Pisces? Uh, what else does my Pisces need to know? Let it go. Yeah, but don't get too focused on this. And don't just, when's he coming? When's she coming? When's she coming? You know, I, I don't want you getting, let it go. If you want this person back, I'm okay no matter what. Know that you're okay no matter what. Um, and let go of the past pain and let go of any power this person's partner had over you. I'm getting really strong. Stay positive. Yeah. So definitely know that, you know, what you want is coming back and what you want is coming for you. And that, you know, you need to picture that happening for you. Um, it's that's manifestation, like being hopeful, setting the intention, putting it out there, but then letting it go and not obsessing over it. You know, that's one of the major, major tenements, right? So Pisces, follow that very strongly. You've got the magician here that made a strong appearance in this reading for you. So, and judgment. So I would love for you to just really stay as positive as you possibly can here. Because what you want is coming in. Ignite your passion. Yeah, and write. I'm getting really strongly if you want to write or paint or do something creative to help you get through this. Uh, in the meantime, that would be great. Your person's going to allow themselves to receive and receive love in a way. I feel like they were not used to someone being so loving and caring to them. And they pushed you away a little bit because it was a lot. So it's definitely, you know, they've got to get open to receiving in a big way. Last card, adventuring, create your own luck. Damn right. They know they can create their own luck. That's why they're not afraid to lose some money and get out of this relationship finally. But it may have taken them a while to get there. All right, Pisces, this is crazy. I hope this resonates. I hope you love it. Um, I hope that you are able to let go of a lot of the pain that you're feeling from this. That's a big message here, okay? Let it go. All right. I love you, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys soon.